Hello everyone, and welcome back to John and Mandy Go RVing. In this episode, we are touring Thousand Trails Lake Aston RV and Camping Resort, which is located in Littleton, North Carolina. Lake Aston RV Resort has 264 sites, but only 60 of those are available to reserve. The rest are annual sites. Most of the sites were pretty roomy, but others were very close to one another. Most of the Nomad sites are electric and water only, so be prepared to use the dump station or the bathhouses. If you are a tent camper, book early. The campground only has 10 tent sites. Each comes with a picnic table and fire ring, but please be sure to bring a tablecloth. There are four restrooms in the campground, two of which also have showers. Propane is available on site, but only during certain hours. There's also a dump station available. The laundry room in the campground is a good size and you are able to pay for laundry through an app. Near the lake you'll find a small store and snack bar with a nice lakeside pavilion. The pool is pretty small, but the real problem is the ants. We don't have any in our camper, but they've been a problem at the pool both times we've stayed here. Near the pool is a nice playground and a mini golf course. Other activities include shuffleboard, horseshoes, a gaga pit, and a beach for swimming. There's also a nice dock here for your boat or just to take in the gorgeous views of the lake. The big draw to this campground is that it's on Lake Gaston. Lake Gaston is 35 miles long and on average is 40 feet deep. Although the campground does not have a dog park, it does have a dog beach, so your pups can take a swim on those dog days of summer. I'm sure many of you wonder how we're able to travel as often as we do. One tool we like to use when looking for campgrounds is Thousand Trails. It's a campground membership with plans to meet your camping needs. The Thousand Trails system offers a variety of RV sites, tent sites, and cabins, plus many offer a ton of amenities and activities. Many are located near popular vacation destinations. We found that the campgrounds serve as a perfect home base when we're exploring new areas. Thousand Trails can work for the weekend campers, full-time RVers, and every type of camper in between. The membership specialists will work with you personally to fit the membership to your camping needs and budget. 
Contact Michael and Lori, membership specialists who are ready to answer your questions. And please don't forget to mention John and Mandy Go RVing when you call. So what we're going to do here is take a few minutes to talk about Lake Gaston, what we liked and disliked about the campground. So what was one thing that you liked about the campground, Mandy? The campground's very beautiful. It sits on a large lake. Uh, there's um, a nice uh, dock there, a couple of beaches, so aesthetically it's a very nice looking campground. The one thing I liked about it was the size of the lake. This lake's like 35 miles. Uh, there's so much you can do on this lake. You can go out boating, you can sit on your pontoon boat and just chill for the day. You can go ride your jet ski across the water over and over again. You can go swimming. There's a couple beaches there, at least in the campground. I'm sure there's probably another beach or two somewhere else in Lake Gaston. Um, what was one thing you didn't like about the campground, Mandy? Well, we've stayed here twice now, once a couple of years ago and then this past time. Um, and both times using the pool, there was an ant problem. The first time I remember actually getting bitten by ants. This time I don't think I was bitten, but there were ants all around the pool and in the pool. We didn't have any in a campsite, so it seems to be concentrated just to the pool area, um, but that was a major problem for me. Uh, a thing I didn't like about the campground was there was only several full hookup sites and they were mixed in with the residential cabin sites on either side of you. So it kind of took away the feeling of being outside and camping. And there's a nicer section over on the other side where they're, you know, it's more wooded and everything. But the main problem with those sites is there's no sewer hookups. So if you're there longer than a weekend, you're going to have to break down, take your RV over to dump your tank and come back and set up again. Um, if you're only there for the weekend, it's no big deal. But I would say that's probably the biggest thing for something I didn't like about the campground. But the site, you know, the Thousand, Sail, Thousand Trails site shows 264 sites, but only 60 of those are actually reservable. The rest are residential, and then out of those 60, what do we think, a handful, maybe seven to 10 have sewer yeah, hookups? Yeah, right, um, right. So, so that, that's a little bit of an issue for me. Yeah, because when you show up, you're going in there thinking you're gonna get a sewer hookup. We did, but I think they have something on their site that there's a chance that you might not get a full hookup, you know, because it could be already taken and full. So then you end up with one of the campsites where you don't have a sewer hookup, and that was our case. Luckily, we're only there two nights, so it was no big deal for us. But like I was saying earlier, if you're going to be there for a week, two, even three weeks through the membership, you know, it could be a hassle. Yeah, and you know, the, the sites themselves, I think I like them better in the section that was not sewer hookups yep. um, than the that. other ones. So. Now, you're definitely going to want to bring your leveling blocks because the campground, the campsites are at the campground are not level. So you're definitely going to be using your leveling blocks. But the sites were good size, I thought. Uh -huh. um, at least the, the couple that we were in, uh, we didn't have any problems with privacy or room for our things. The sites were good. Market size. They do have a nice mentor golf course there too. I think that's worth checking out while you're there. Will we go back there again? Probably at least one more time because we would like to take our kayaks there and explore the lake some. It's a pretty big lake and I think we would feel silly if we didn't go back to at least do that. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice sized lake. Um, so, and you can bring your boats. They had a boat dock um, right there. So, if, uh, if you have boat that you want to bring that's an option so. and they do have a storage area there too you know if you want to store your boat there temporarily while you're there visiting for the weekend or for the week so that's our uh, review on the campground uh, I'm sure there'll be things we don't agree on because we might be going there for a different reason that you guys may be going there but overall it's a pretty nice campground it's definitely worth a check out so we want to thank you guys for uh, watching this video now, if you don't mind, uh, hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below in the comment section. Especially if you've stayed here, what was your experience? Yes, Did you us, like it? Yeah, let us know down in the comment section. We'd like to know. Well, thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.
It's like my soul is set on fire. Hello, everyone, and welcome to John and Mandy, your being. We're at Ledford State Park in New York. Hello, everyone, and welcome to John and Mandy, your being. We're at Niagara Falls in New York. I can run, but 